So Revenge is now on demand, as well as limited release in theaters. I saw this on demand because it wasn't in theaters near me, and I really wanted to see this film. Um, because I I've seen a couple reviews for it, heard it was good, but I, I didn't really know much about it other than it's a revenge film. Um, but the premise, for those who don't know, it's about a uh, woman who, uh, she is basically the side chick um, of this one guy who's married, and he has her over um, to his exotic place in the middle of the desert. And his two friends come there a little early. And the rich guy, he goes away for, you know, a couple of hours. Um, and the one guy tries to take advantage of her and unfortunately succeeds. And then that then leads to them having to get rid of her. And um, they fail and then she basically goes on a conquest of revenge uh simple premise uh very bare bones but the way this film is executed i really liked it uh, right from the beginning i could tell that this was a film that i was probably gonna like um based on the way it's shot alone i mean this film the color palette and the lighting especially is just breathtaking i feel as though they used the filtering uh, of Mad Max Fury, almost like the the color hue. It, it's very it's very great. I, I loved the look of the film. Um, it looks very high budget, even though it's very low budget. Um, the directing style is by a woman, and I find that interesting um, because the first I'd say thirty minutes, the the way this film was shot, there's a lot of butt shots. I mean, I literally turned to my girlfriend. I was like. This has more butt shots than the Fast and Furious movies, which is saying something, because if you've seen those movies, you know that they objectify women, and all they do is have, you know, real close-ups of, of women's rears, and it's like, is this necessary? Um, but a film like Revenge, um, I'll argue that it was necessary because it was showing the perspective of these guys, and how this woman is objectified by them. Uh, it's not right. I'm not saying it is, but it's these guys, their perspective of that and how they think it's right, and that's why the camera's kind of panning to it. But the reason why I like that is because as the film progressed, there started becoming less and less shots of that, and more and more of just showing this woman become a true, uh, in a way, finding herself. You know, like she truly finds herself as the film progresses. And these people no longer objectify her. In fact, they become scared of her, which is great because it, it really does lead to some really gory deaths. I mean, this is one of the most gory films I think I've ever seen, especially uh, this year. I mean, like, there are more bloody scenes, I, I would say, this than like two Tarantino films combined, which is saying something. But on top of that, the progression of the pacing, it just really builds, and it, it builds to a satisfying conclusion. I mean, this is a film that, sure, you have to suspend disbelief, and sure, you have to get past a lot of butt shots, but when you think about the artistic merits of those, it makes sense, because again, it's showing how these people slowly kind of realize, hey, that's, I mean, they don't really realize that it's not right, but they slowly change the perspective of this woman from objectifying to being scared of her, and, and she literally rises up from the ashes and is able to be a strong feminist female, which is great. I, 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 loved, I loved that perspective especially, but this is also a film that, from a technical aspect, it's great, as I mentioned, the cinematography, but the sound, uh, the score, the editing style... Uh, there's, there's just a lot of symbolism, too, that it, it really enhances the film. Uh, some of it might be a bit heavy-handed, but I think overall it worked. And I would say the only negative is... It's not really a negative because you can kind of tell that it's done intentionally, but this film, it's not realistic. There, there are many scenes where uh, the character wouldn't have survived, uh, you know, certain things that would easily make the wounds possibly worse. Um... So you have to suspend disbelief, but if you're able to, I think there's a lot to like in this film. Um, if you're able to look past those as well as just the objectification of women in the first half, but again, the second half I think makes up for that because it really does show the progression of, of the change of characters. So I, I, I know I don't want to say like recommend that, yeah, that's right, it's it's not right, but in the, in the terms of the film, 
it works and it just builds to a strong female character, which I like. So I'll honestly be giving Revenge a four out of five star rating. I would definitely recommend it. Again, it's on demand. Um, and if you have seen Revenge, let me, let me know your thoughts. I'm curious because um, this seems to be a film that really only critics have seen thus far, but hoping it gets a bigger audience. And again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you haven't done so already, don't forget the subscription notification bell. And uh, catch you guys later.